Hey guys, welcome to ABC Cooking, where I'm going to show you the recipes I've learned growing up as an American-born Chinese. Today, we're making tofu with century eggs, pi dan tofu. The type of tofu you want to use for this recipe is silken tofu. For those of you who don't know, there are different levels of firmness when it comes to tofu. First, there's silken tofu, which has the highest water content and is the softest. Next, there's soft tofu. Then there's firm tofu, and finally there's extra firm tofu. If we reduce the water content by any more, then you'll have dou gan, which is dried tofu. To start off, remove the plastic covering and drain the tofu liquid into a bowl or just into the sink. Silken tofu doesn't really come with a lot of liquid in the packaging, so there isn't really much point in saving the liquid. Next, remove the tofu from its packaging. Sometimes silken tofu will slide right out of its packaging, other times it won't, so you'll just have to squeeze and move it around until it'll pop out. Unfortunately, it won't always pop out in one solid block, so just use your knife to scrape out what's left over in the package. It doesn't really matter in this case, it'll still look good in the end. You can just place the broken pieces of tofu back on top of the block. Then cut the tofu into cubes that are about 3 quarters of an inch wide. If you want or have time to, you could just let the tofu sit on the cutting board and a lot of liquid will come out, then you can drain it. Or you can just put the tofu straight into your plate. Form the tofu into a mound shape so that there is more room around the edges of the plate for the sentry eggs. Now let's move on to the star of the show, the sentry eggs. All you have to do is crack the shell and peel it like a soft or hard boiled egg. Once you peel it, you'll find that the white has turned black, which may freak some of you out, but don't worry, sentry eggs are delicious. Sentry eggs are made by preserving chicken, quail, or duck eggs in an alkaline clay mixture. This preservation process is what turns the egg whites into a black color and jelly-like consistency. If you look closely, you'll also see some snowflake or pine branch patterns on the surface of the egg, which are really cool looking. If you want to find out more information about the preservation process of century eggs, then check out abc-cooking.blogspot.com. Instead of using a knife to cut the eggs, we're going to use a piece of floss or string. This way we can get some nice clean cuts, because if we use the knife, the yolk would stick to the knife and things would start to get messy. So just place your egg flat on the cutting board and then push your floss all the way down until you've cut all the way through. Cut the eggs into quarters. Once all of your eggs have been cut into quarters and separated, we're ready for assembly. So we're going to take our plate of tofu and drizzle on something called soy paste. Soy paste is basically just soy sauce that's been thickened into a thick sauce-like consistency. So just drizzle that attractively over your tofu. And then we're going to drizzle some sesame oil for some fragrance. Arrange your century egg slices around the mound of tofu so that the pointy end of the egg is pointing up towards the center of the mound. Finally, garnish with some thinly sliced green onions. If I have them, I also like to top with some crushed toasted peanuts. Now let's dig in! You can't call yourself a chopsticks master until you can regularly pick up silken tofu with chopsticks. Tofu and soy sauce already go so well together since they're both made from soybeans, but when you add century eggs, you take the tofu to a whole nother level. The preservation process has turned the yolks into a gray color, and they're nice and creamy and delicious. If you're looking to try a new Chinese dish that's kind of strange or bizarre to you, don't let the appearance of century eggs put you off. It's really worth giving it a try. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, if you follow me, cooking can be easy as ABC. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!